Hey YouTubers, uh, back on Dozing for Dummies, um, alternator, uh, alternator upgrade. Um, we are uh, pulling out of our Motorola piece of crap. This is a factory original, I guess. Yeah. And... Uh, what a nightmare. What a piece of crap. Motorola. Okay. There's the big 22 amp. I remember having my Mustang bicycle with a banana seat and a little light on it. The little tire generator. I think that was 22 amps. This is about the same. Um, yeah, it's a diesel. Uh, doesn't need an electrical system to run. But it needs an electrical system to start. And... Um, We've got a couple big tractor batteries in there, big industrial commercials. We're pushing 2,000 amps on the batteries. So uh, uh, 22 amps is stupid, uh, just like most of John Deere. So um, as we can see, the recommended changeover is to the Delcos. Uh, pretty straightforward, no real problems. As you can see, they're basically the same body size same body configuration flip it over there we go so uh, they are the same dropped right in uh, had to change the pulley over uh, He's got the little ones, uh, the Motorola. It's the big honking one. Uh, Motorola, as you can see, got the keyed shaft. The Delcos don't. Uh, had to bore the Motorola out to 11 16 Just drilled it out fast. No problem. Threw it in. Slipped in. No problem. Now, um... As you can see, the Motorola is with the external regulators and all this wiring harness for the alternator. A little bit for the starter, right? But all this for the alternator. Just a joke. Now, this, this is just most of it was cracked and cracked. Now, by going to the Delco... You know, it's not the one wire, which is nice, but, you know, the, the, the Type 10 Delco one wire. Now, look at this. This whole wiring harness. Okay. Gone. Gone. This is all going. This is all going. The regulator's going. The bulkhead connectors are going. We've got uh, field wired or the uh, sensing wire, charging wire, over to the main battery post. Our field wire goes up to our ignition. That's it, right? We've got the uh, starter engagement wire, right, down to the solenoid. So we've got two wires. Now, I've, I've got an alternator on this, so we've got to bring down some, uh, oh, number 12 should be good enough for the alternator uh, gauge. But all the rest of this, is gone so um if you got one like don't hesitate right R rip this stupid motor roll out because it's stupid it's crap and just go with your gen your your uh delco generator or alternator i mean boom done simple essentially two wires again one down to your solenoid engagement wire from the starter that'll go to your starter uh, terminal on your ignition and then this one goes to uh, the run position run number one and you're done done piece of cake uh, so highly recommended guys like don't hesitate pull this out I mean 22 amp what a joke these are 65 right so uh, we're working on that today we'll have this whipped off uh, the other thing, we've got a loose uh, plate. Now, we don't want that. 
right? Because if a rock gets in there, see how it's just about flipping over? You start doing a turn on this, you're going to bend everything. I know the rails are fucked. We're going to get the new rails. Um, picked up some number eights. Half by uh, inch and a quarter. So we're going to torch cut these out. I don't know who put this in, but, you know, you can see there, they're just fucking dangling. Oversized, wrong bolt. You know, some idiot just did whatever. Anyway, we're going to do it right. Do it once. So we got our uh, plate. Um, and let's get back here. Oh, it's time to get this little beauty up and rolling. The attachment is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We're uh, pulling out our draw bar, unbolting that. Picked up some half inch angle iron. Eh, it could be a little bit thicker, but that's all Vern had up at uh, Alder Steel at the time. Great bunch of guys, Alder Steel in uh, Alder Grove. And uh, we've got uh, good placement on the bolts. We're going to be catching this series of bolts right up through here. We'll bolt those on. We're going to put a couple gussets here just to uh, stop the lateral deflection. Bolt those on. 19 and a half inch spread to spread. There's our bottom bar that will go into our angle. So that drops in. And then we've got, because this is Bobcat, we got their funky little uh, front connector system. We're going to replace that with just uh, um, linch pins, hitch pins. We'll stick that in so we can just slide those in, pin them off, run a couple hoses, our two uh, supply hoses. Those are going to go in underneath there. Okay, that right there is our uh, supply line up to the valve body from the pump. So we'll uh, bring our two ports out to the back here. And I might like make a little, nice little plate all Maybe attach it down here, put a little angle in here. Two ports so we can just plug them right in nice and neat, doesn't flop around. And uh, here's our supply line from the front pump. Okay, we're going to clean that up. Remember, hydraulics, no contamination. We're going to clean that, uh, clean that right up here. Put a T here. So up to the valve body for the blade control and then supply out to there and then our return will go into the tank. So that'll be pretty simple. So uh, getting the backhoe on, a uh, couple hours, uh, more fucking around, running around getting fittings and who's got what in this COVID time of bullshit. No supplies anywhere for anything. Are you guys aware that you cannot get small block Chevy lifters? Nowhere in North America can you get a small block Chevy lifter. They're non-existent right now. That, that's how crazy shit is. So anyway, we are progressing on. Um, uh, oh, uh, one other thing. Um, if you ever have to change the pulley, I got bad lighting here because the sun's working against us. But down in there, right off the crank pulley... It's the front shaft to the front pump. Down in there. Okay? So, if your belt breaks, it's not just a matter of flipping it over the fan and uh, looping one on. You've got to unbolt these bolts and then the front cowl tips forward exposing all the shit and you've got to pull a drive shaft you've got to pull the pto pump drive shaft to put a new fan blade on or uh, a fan belt on um another great idea from fucking john deere so just a heads up guys if uh watch your belts and realize that if you're on the job site and it's looking cracked and if it goes okay it's not a 15 minute change out like on a chevy 350 Okay, you're down for two hours to repair, just replace a fan belt. Uh, another really great, great, great idea from John Deere, right? Fuck the 15 minutes, you're down for two hours. <sighs> you know, well, whatever. Um, that's why we're casing it out. 
There's nothing I can do with the uh, PTO shaft. It's just a heads up warning. But uh, there we are. Uh, how, how much we're cleaning up this engine is incredible. You know, just keeping it simple. Um, and yeah, again, all that wiring's coming out. Uh, we're going to uh, pull the dash. Um, most of the wires, uh, the uh, oil pump's mechanical, so we just got a straight feed line to it. Um, just a whole lot of uh, wire cleanup, simplification, and making this thing very serviceable in the field. Um, we uh, picked up a new bolt. That one broke off right from the uh, mainframe onto the transmission. Uh, YouTube guy welding. Uh, good thing for pulling out broken studs. Get some copper pipe. Pound it in there. And uh, go in with your welding rod. And just start heating it up and building it up. The welding rod will not uh, uh, blend with the uh, copper. So it just builds a weld shaft right out. And then once you get the weld out to the end, uh, weld a nut or whatever. And with all that heat, it should back straight out. And uh, uh, quick and easy repair for a broken uh, uh, bolt shaft deep in, recessed uh, broken bolt. So that's what we're going to do there and on the other side over there where that bolt also broke off. So um, after that, we're, uh, we're ready to drop this thing back on the ground and uh, go do a little plowing. And uh, we'll, get the, uh, we'll get the tracks fixed before the end of the year here. Uh, they're still serviceable. Um, this we're going to cut. Because this is bowed. We covered that in the last one, right? So this is bowed. We're going to cut that, redo this beam. Uh, I'm not, I got a couple jobs coming up. So we're just going to leave this monkey bar here. This gusset. I can't tell you, you know, you're trying to work in here. And it's like reaching over a counter to do anything. It's just a pain in the ass. But, you know, it's just another thing. We'll make it all good. So uh, another short one, just keeping you guys uh, up to date on the dozer. And uh, hope you're having a good summer. Fourth of July, today's the fifth, right? Hope you guys all had good time on the weekend. And uh, let's carry on. Okay.